These are the lucky ones, the weary people who have escaped Ukraine and arrived in Poland. More come through this crossing all the time. The border guards tell us that on the Ukrainian side, the queue of cars now stretches for 25 miles. They expect some people to have to wait for two and a half days. But many are getting here on foot. We meet Ola. She and her sister, together with their five children, had just arrived after an arduous journey from the Ukrainian city of Lviv. At the beginning, we drove a car, and then we had to walk on foot for 20 kilometers. It was hard. We're not making plans at this point. We fled because it was too scary there. There are happy reunions, ripples of relief, but there's also real fear and anger. Nobody who's here wants to be here. This is not an exodus of all Ukrainians because just about everyone coming through this border crossing is either a woman or a child. Men aged between 18 and 60 have been told to stay over there in Ukraine and fight for their country. And the more that people arrive, the more you get that sense of desperation. This feels less like a border crossing and more like a refugee camp. Seven miles away, and this is the nearest train station to the border. It is very busy, and there's an emergency shelter for new arrivals. What strikes you is that people are arriving with almost nothing. Tanya was sheltering with her children in a basement until she fled. My husband say, you need to save our children. You need to go, because uh, if you will stay in downstairs, in not safety. Poland has offered to welcome every Ukrainian who wants to come, even if that figure runs into millions. But this country is seething at what it sees as Europe's slow, meagre response. And one of its leading political figures told me the culprits included Europe's richest nation. It's a great disappointment that particular interests of certain countries, such as Germany, are more important than moral obligations when it comes to helping Ukrainians and punishing Russians, because Russians today act as bandits. You see the kindness of volunteers here, the acts of generosity. It briefly beguiles, and then you remember what's causing this. War in Europe. Now, Adam Parsons, Sky News on the Poland-Ukraine border.